Welcome back everyone to video number four in our new series Google Spreadsheet. So far we've covered some very basics. We've learned how to add some numbers up. Uh, we've learned the sum function. We've also done some basic formatting of numbers. Now we're ready to put our new skills to use. I want us to create a very simple home budget for us to track our bills and also track our income and then be able to compare income to expenses and just see how we're doing on managing our money. Now first and foremost let me just say I am not a financial planner or anything like that. I'm just a basic guy who knows how to add numbers up and I'm just going to show you how you can utilize the new skills you've been learning through these videos. Alright, I'm going to go to my drive. I'm going to select new and I'm going to select the Google Sheet and this will create us a new spreadsheet. And just like I have before, I'm going to name this. We'll just call this Budget Budget 101. Very simple budget. Okay, well let's start laying out our, our, our budget. Obviously we're going to have um, a section for income. And let's space over using our arrow keys and let's go over here and let's just create expenses right that's all a budget is is your income minus expenses and let's go ahead and create some column headings we'll call this um, uh, let's just call this let's see how can we do this well let's come over here and I'll say this will be salary salary uh, I'm gonna say spouse salary we'll do it for the family I'll just put my salary here spouse salary and then we'll here uh oh we'll come down here and we'll call this other so now we can just make up some numbers here I'm gonna pretend that say I make uh, 45,000 a year my wife makes 51,000 a year and let's pretend that we have some investments and those dividends pay around, I don't know, 5000 a year. Cool. All right. So we also have expenses. Um, so let's, let's create some subcategories here. I'll call this bill and I'll call this amount. This, this should look very similar. We did this in our last video. Uh, and uh, I'm just going to come down here real quickly cut here and when I come back I'll have all my bills listed out okay we're back now and I have my bills pasted in from our earlier tutorial and they should look familiar to you um, so now let's 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 make a budget out of this how do we do this well first of all we have our income coming in over here let's go ahead and let's let's clean this up a little bit let's um, actually I want to move this label over one to the left how can I do that quickly well I could retype it in cell a2 or I can simply grab and notice when I move my cursor over the edge or the border of the cell it turns into a hand at that point I can click the mouse and hold it down and drag it over to where I'd like for it to be and let's pretend that this will be this is what we call yearly amount well guess what this over here is called monthly amount right we pay our bills each month but typically we measure our salaries by the year so let's do some math here let's first of all let's come down here and we'll allow ourselves some extra rows just in case we find new avenues of income uh, over the course of time so we'll allow our income areas to grow but we'll put a total here in row 9 and just like before, we'll enter a sum function, open parentheses, and I'm just going to drag. I'm also going to include these blank rows. One day we may come in and we may add new categories of income. When we do, the formula will be ready to accept that. Okay, there's our yearly total. But wait a second, we have monthly bills, don't we? So what do we do? Well, first of all, we need to take this number and guess what 
divided by 12. Let me relabel this. I'm going to put yearly, yearly total. Then I'll name this one monthly total. And we're going to use a new formula here. We're going to say equals, and I'm going to click on cell B9. And I want to divide by 12. And to divide in the spreadsheet, we're going to use the backslash character. B9 divided by 12. And I press enter. So there's our monthly income. Okay, great. Now, this is this is gross. This is what we're grossing a year. This is not what we're netting. So we need to make an adjustment for our bring home. So I'm going to say monthly net. And I just so happen to know that roughly 68% of my income is what I get to keep. So I want to create another formula. I want to say equals my monthly total times, and, it, and to multiply, you use the asterisk symbol, times 0.68. That is 68%. 0 0.68. And I press enter. So now this is my monthly net. And I'm going to actually make this bold and make it stand out a little bit. I'm also going to convert this to currency just like we did in our earlier tutorial. And that will clean that up quite nicely there. And let's make this stand out a little better. Let's make the background blue because it is income. Typically, uh, I like to use, well, I'll tell you what, let's use green. Uh, monthly income is a positive flow. So we'll make that green. There's our monthly income. So now let's, let's, let's clean this up a little more. Let's put, make these column headings stick out. I'm also going to underline these two rows here, or these two cells rather. And to do that, we have a special drop down area called borders. And if you click on the drop down, you have various options of how you would like to place a border within your cell. Well, we want to place it on the bottom portion of our selection. So to, to do that, I want to select this one. And notice when I click away, we now have a nice line um, showing our column headings. And again, to kind of make this feel consistent, I'm going to going to also make the background of this the same green as we did earlier. I believe it was that one. No, sorry, wrong one. Need to go up one. There we go. And to make this look really good, let's put a let's put a solid border around the outside. And to do that. I want to go back to my border tool and I'm going to select an outline. And uh, now we have a nice border around all of our income. Okay, well, let's kind of do the same. We'll cut here and when we come back, I will have formatted the expenses the same way. Okay, I have come back now and I've cleaned this up quite nicely. I've actually removed the word expense from the top and I've just moved it down here to cell D2 and I've kind of put our income and expense closer together so this looks a little nicer now. Uh, I do have monthly total but I was saving the formula uh, for you guys to watch uh, but again this is just like uh, we did in our earlier tutorial. I'm going to use the sum open parentheses and I'm going to drag across. I'm even going to include my blank rows for future bills that I may have. Close parentheses enter. Okay, so now we have a nice section for our income. We have room to grow here as well when we bring in additional income. We also have all of our bills listed here as well as room to grow for our bills. Um, and notice if I did forget one, and let's say I did, let's uh, say that I have a, uh, oh, I don't know, uh, car note, car loan. forgot that and it's three hundred and thirteen dollars and twenty three cents enter and notice that our monthly total updated cool up oh, but my formatting is different so I can copy the formatting with our paint format tool and then click on the new entry there and also I can copy that again and highlight these three rows so that our future bills will automatically have the money format. Just to test it, let's put in $25. Enter. Beautiful. Alright, let's delete that. Okay. 
So now we have our income and our expenses. The only thing left to display is our balance. What is our balance? Well, our balance is simply our monthly net minus our monthly expense. And to do that, I'm going to say this cell here equals H3 equals B11, right? That's my monthly net income. And my monthly expense, this equals cell E17, enter. And now, of course, now I'm going to bring this down. I'm going to say our balance is what? What does this equal? I bet you know this equals our monthly net minus our monthly expense. Beautiful. So now let's let's actually separate this a little bit. Let's pull it down here. Let's make it bold. Let's make it a little bigger so it stands out. Awesome. We can also widen our columns a little bit if we need to. And let's give this a background color of let's say blue and what I want to do here in a little while is I'm going to show you a little tool called conditional formatting uh, that'll really impress you <laughs> actually what it allows us to do is determine formatting based on a value of a cell and we'll, but we'll discuss that more for now I'm just going to show a blue background to this I also want to make the font color a little lighter so it stands out. There we go. Awesome. So now we have the basics of a budget. And we can track our, our income over here. We can enter our monthly bills here. And notice, let's just show you how it works. Let's pretend that my car loan is paid off. I can delete this mount and watch my balance over here. Watch what happens. Because all these formulas are connected, the balance goes up by $313. So we can see where our money is going. Awesome. All right, guys, thanks for watching today. We're going to come back and build upon this slowly as we learn more features of Google Spreadsheets. Thanks for watching. My name is Shane. Don't forget to subscribe, and that way you'll be alerted to any new videos as they're being posted. And as always, I thank you for your time. Take care. Testing one, two. Testing one, two, three.